at the moment and uh <laughs> Well, I don't know whether, like me, you're utterly appalled by what happened yesterday. We saw, of course, the tearing down of the Edward Colston statue in Bristol. We saw, for the second day in a row, uh, Winston Churchill's statue in Parliament Square being defaced. We saw another assault on the cenotaph, uh, this time with some yob climbing up there and trying to set fire with a cigarette lighter to the Union flag. Tens of thousands of people took part in further anti-racism protests across Britain today with the statue of a 17th century slave trader pulled down in Bristol. The monument to Edward Colston, which had stood in the city centre for more than a century, was toppled and pushed into the river. Avon and Somerset police say they deliberately took a low-key approach to the whole protest due to sensitivities, safety and social distancing. Some people will look at this and think, hang on a minute, you should have intervened, you should have stepped in, you should have at least challenged the behaviour that was happening. But this was a very difficult policing operation. There's a lot of context that sits around it, and I believe we did the right thing. No regrets? No regrets. Sheer vandalism and disorder completely is unacceptable. And it's right, actually, the police follow up on that and make sure that justice um, is taken, undertaken, with those individuals that are responsible for such disorderly and lawless behaviour. The United Kingdom is institutionally racist. We have an idiot Freedom on the programme. The organisation Black Lives Matter is a far-left Marxist organisation whose chief aim is to defund... Will this involve cuts? Yes, of course to every department, including the police department. And close down police forces. The calls for real change have grown louder every day of the past two weeks. Some protesters have been calling for the defunding of police. Others want to go even further or disband, dismantle local police agencies. In a stunning move announced just last night, the city of Minneapolis is doing just that. That is an utter lie. It is a yes or a no. Mayor Jacob Fry answered he didn't support the full abolition of MPD. And before he could finish... Frustrations felt on the front line are not confined to it. The inspector at this Bristol police station has two sergeants, 18 PCs and four volunteer specials to cover the east of the city. He tells me resources are so stretched, some crimes previously attended are now restricted to a phone call. The amount of offenders we actually bring to justice has actually reduced, um, so it is actually quite disappointing because it doesn't give people closure. Um, quite often the victims of crime turn around and say they like to have some form of closure to know what's actually happened, which we're unable to give now. How would you assess the police service at the moment? Is, is, it, is it fit for purpose? Is it, is it stretched to, to breaking point? I would say we are actually stretched, stretched to breaking point. Social historians are divided on what was the true extent of the crime wave prompting Sir Robert Peel and Parliament to set up the Metropolitan Police in 1829. Anarchists have coined together saying, A cab, all cops are bad. After videos emerged of her declaring, quote, open season on crackers and suggesting people start walking up on untrained police officers and stealing their weapons. In Minnesota, chants from Black Lives Matter protesters are drawing disgust from police. The protesters took to the streets Saturday in St. Paul outside of the state fair, yelling, quote, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, end quote. Some believe the chant refers to putting police officers in body bags. This anti-cop sentiment from this hateful ideology called Black Lives Matter 
has fueled this rage against the American police officer. We're learning new details about the sniper ambush of police officers in downtown Dallas last night. The attack turned a peaceful protest into chaos. Five officers were killed, seven other officers and two civilians wounded. Video shows a gunman firing at targets at the end of last night's protest against deadly police shootings in other cities this week. The country has been shaken by another deadly act of violence. Six law enforcement officers were shot this morning in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Three are dead, another is in critical condition tonight. They were ambushed by a gunman that the police identify as a black ex-Marine from Kansas City. The shooting comes less than two weeks after a black man was shot to death by white police officers during a struggle. Thirty-five officers were injured, two seriously, one was uh, knocked off of a horse, apparently she hit a traffic bollard. She did, yeah. Yeah, because and the horse was bolting, having had a bike thrown at it by one of these scumbags. This happens day in and day out, not just in London, but many cities and villages and towns around Britain. Mm. Often the officer is alone. Fortunately, there were two officers there, one black female and one uh, white male, and uh, the white male, at one point, was in a headlock and could hardly breathe. Right. And what is it that the Black Lives Matter group were talking about? I can't breathe. Well, yesterday afternoon, one of my colleagues couldn't breathe for a little while and had the black uh, suspect not let go of him, who knows what could have happened. I believe that a frontline police officer in London is going to be murdered very soon. Mm -hmm. Cressida Dick, the boss of the Met, despite 50 of her police officers now being injured, some in hospital, said she understood. Yes, and last Wednesday, she understood why some of them took the knee in front of the baying mob outside Downing Street, because she understood the injustices behind this. Cressida Dick, this organization, Black Lives Matters, wants to close down the Metropolitan Police. It really is time. You, other chief constables, uh, other police chiefs, like the idiot in Bristol, who says he has no regrets, about letting them tear down a statue and chuck it in the river, whatever the history of the Colston family may have been. It's about time they got up, you know, really, and got real with this. Stand strong, stand straight and rigid. You do not kneel to any sections of the community. We police them all fairly, properly, and that's what the police oath is all about. Yes, absolutely well said. Come on, shape up! <laughs>